All right, everybody. So I want to walk you through a little bit about how I created this C3PO picture using Desmos. So one of the things about this, we talked about this in class, <clears throat> you can keep clicking, toggling between seeing the actual picture and not seeing it. So as I add curves and lines to my drawing, I can compare it against the original and see if how, how good it's matching up. So I'm not going to go through every single equation, but we'll go through, uh, we'll talk about how we make the eyes. All right. So specifically those circles. So we start by putting in the picture and it's a huge benefit to have a picture that is symmetrical. Mine's symmetrical along the Y axis. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through how I make one circle for one eye and then how we can copy it to make the circle for the other eye, and save a little bit of time. All right. So I know that his C3PO's eye is a circle. So I start by typing in the standard form for the equation of the circle, I'm not putting in any numbers right now. And I'm just typing it in on the keyboard. There we go. And as I typed in the equation, it's asking me if I want to add sliders for H, K, R, or all. I'm going to choose all. The great thing about these sliders is it's a, a fast way to get, in this case, a circle to be the exact size and the exact position that you want. As I move around the various sliders, it's going to influence how this circle appears on the screen. The H is changing the X position of the circle. Moving K around changes the Y position of the circle. And R for the radius is going to change um, how big the actual circle is. So I'm going to try to um, move these H, K, and R values around so I can get my circle to appear on top of C3PO's eye. I'm going to try to get it to match up as much as possible. It might not be perfect. I'm do the best I can. And what you're going to find is as you get, as you try to move it smaller and smaller amounts, sometimes it's easier to just type in the numbers. Like I just typed in negative 1.2. And then for the radius, the radius is, is obviously too big. Let's see what happens if I make it 0.7. That's pretty close, about 0.6. That's pretty close, but it looks like it's still a little bit off. So maybe if I adjust maybe the K position, maybe make the K position 0.35. That's pretty good. And I'll make the radius just a little bit small, a little bit bigger. That's matching up pretty good with his eye. Not perfect, but pretty close. All right. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to edit. And I'm going to change the color. All right. It's black in the picture. So I'm going to make it black here. Done. And now it's black. <clears throat> Next, I'm going to um, actually go back into edit list. and I'm going to make a copy. I'm going to duplicate this equation. And I'm going to fill in the original one with the actual numbers that I got for H, K, and R. So H was supposed to be negative 1.2. Um, so it was minus a negative. So I'll just make it positive. 1.2 and then k is 0.35 and r is supposed to be 0.65 all right so this way i have this equation is set with the numbers and now i still have this other circle equation with the sliders that i can play around with 
so I can make a circle for another part of the um, C3PO face. So I still have a, a slider one to play with. All right, now I'm going to show you what I did to get the other eye for C3PO. I got this eye, and I'm going to basically reflect it to get his other eye. It saves me a little bit of time. So go up to Edit. I'm going to Copy, and then Done. Now, because it's symmetrical, um, I have this, this circle over here. Basically, I want the same size circle, so I don't want to change the radius at all. Um, and in terms of the Y values, it's, it's, it's going to be at the same height, if you will. But the X value needs to change. And what I'm going to do is go over here and make this X minus 1.2. And look at that. Just like that, it matches up with his other eye. And... So if you pick a picture that is symmetric along the y-axis, then it's going to be a huge time saver. And so that's how I made a portion of this picture. And when you create your screencast, you don't have to go through everything, but just explain how you made a portion of your picture.